Zan Ta, and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be looking at the roof command, specifically roof by extrusion. Roof by footprint, by the way, was already covered in another screencast. When we're using the roof by extrusion command, this method is for you to create a roof such that roof by footprint in a bird's eye view is not going to function. For example, maybe you need to create a roof that has a strange profile that's going towards the building, something like a, a basic carport. In order to do roof by footprint, uh, I'm sorry, roof by extrusion, you want to make sure that you have a couple of things already in play. For example, the first thing you'll want to do is have a reference plane. This makes it a little easier for you to create the profile on that plane and adjust it accordingly. To create a reference plane, architecture tab, work plane panel, reference plane command. Start the command, place that reference plane wherever you want, select that reference plane and give it a name. When you're finished, head over to the elevation that you need to work with. And now you can start the roof by extrusion command. Architecture tab, build a panel, roof by extrusion. Once you've started the command, it will ask you what plane to create the profile on. Since you've already created a reference plane, select it. Hit OK. And it will ask you what, which level to associate it to. In this case, I'll associate it to level 2. And it goes into sketch mode. In the type selector, you pick the type of roof that you want to work with. And in this sketch, you want to draw the magenta lines that represent the top of the roof. And it's a simple single profile. Unlike other uh, by sketch based drawings that have to be in a closed loop. In this situation, it does not. This magenta line that you've drawn acts as the top of the roof, the thickness of the roof, which is defined by the properties of the roof here and here, will force the software to create the roof a thickness downward, and it will extrude towards the building. If you know your extrusion start and end, you can type it in, or you can just hit the green check mark to finish the command. If we look at it in 3D, the software will automatically create the roof by extrusion and give it an arbitrary length. You can select it and pull these arrows and adjust the length accordingly. If you need to, you can take the align command and align to this edge of the wall, this edge of your roof, and you can lock it. Once you've done this, you can see your roof has been created and if you have some columns that need to support it you can always attach the top of them to this roof that's roof by extrusion pretty basic pretty simple if you also notice if I head back to the floor plan view and I decide to take this reference plane and move it say Maybe a little further this way. What you'll notice is that this edge, since it's aligned and locked to this face of this wall, pulls this wall and makes the building longer. And this edge stays with the edge of the reference plane that you drew. Again, thank you very much for watching my screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.